Uh, Joshua, a question I had to ask you, I saw on your resume a title I'm not familiar with, and I bet esteemed audience would like to know a little bit more as well, and then we'll start to think about landing this thing, but I saw that you're a story architect for video games. I have done that job. I've been lucky enough to do that a couple of times. Yeah, it's been, you know, again, it's just another way in which I've been lucky enough to spin my extraordinary nerdery um, into employment opportunities um you know in each of those instances it was i wasn't writing content for the game specifically i was um <clears throat> this is not a phrase that most people will know but i'll explain it like kind of ip mining like they had uh like here's the game concept and i i sort of brought in to be like okay well this game is set over the course of 500 years of human history here's a whole bunch of other things <laughs> that could exist within that span here's a cool idea for a comic book here's a cool idea for a novel here's a cool idea for a series here's here's just a bunch of ways in which the the intellectual property that you've already invested in massively <laughs> can continue to be narratively exploited and so um it's a really fun it's a really fun really weird job but yeah i mean i'm a big video game player i know don is too we don't play the same stuff unfortunately but um <laughs> um but yeah getting to work in that space is super exciting what are uh, some of your games that you like to play when when you're on downtime me personally uh-huh yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a puzzler. So, like, all of the games that I invest in are narrative-based um, puzzlers. Like the one, the one that I, I've probably replayed more than any other series is the two Last of Us games, um, which I thought were extraordinary and brilliant. Um, you know, they're they're forty-hour movies a piece for all intents and purposes, in which you get to play a protagonist, you get to play one of the people, and it's just a, it's yeah, those are those two would come top of mind. I agree, except I still hate Abby. Like I get it, I, 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 I felt some empathy for her, but they never got me all the way. Still hate her. I understand. I understand. It's a debate I've had many, many times. We will not go through it now. <laughs> And you know what? If we take well, slight spoiler, but if we take the big murder that she does add off the table, like that's fine. Maybe I'm okay with that. Just the fact that she turns on all her own people. Um, it was one thing when Joel shot up a hospital, and I realized that they're trying to mirror that she's become the new Joel um, when she goes on her rampage. But she's killing her own people. She's lived with them since childhood. Like Abby, you're just not a good person. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know what it says about my my weird brand of empathy <laughs> that, like, <laughs> that I can still feel for her. I that probably says something horribly bankrupt about me. But the truth is, it did it did it. And look, it's not an easy relationship with that character at all. But that's part of what I what I really really respected and admired about the the games that it just it it wasn't black and white in any way. Like it's it's. <laughs> It's not, no, and I, I did feel some empathy for it. When I played as, as Ellie, I was very careful. When I played as Abby, I just walked her up to the zombies. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I get it. We all have our favorites. <laughs>